On this example, uh, we know that theta divided by two is in quadrant two, and that cosine of theta is given to us to be 119 divided by 169. Our goal is to use a half angle formula over here on the right hand side and figure out what sine of theta divided by two is going to be. So as we jump into this, this one's actually pretty straightforward that they gave us cosine of theta. That's gonna fill in right in this spot in our formula. Okay, so we have the square root of one minus 119 divided by 169, all divided by two. Um, and we should probably double check just to make sure what quadrant we're in, should this be positive or negative? You may have noticed that I left off the plus and minus out in front. To do that, I use the phrase, all students take calculus. Now we're trying to find sine of theta divided by two. We are told that this is in quadrant two. So that means that sine is positive in quadrant number two. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that we understand that's gonna be positive. Now this if this happened to be in quadrant three or four, we would use a negative out in front. Okay, from here, let's work on simplifying this down and getting a little bit better answer. So we don't like having fractions inside of fractions. So it's this little fraction that's kind of the problem for us right now. What we can do, kind of a shortcut here is you can multiply by that denominator of that little fraction, as long as you're multiplying both numerator and denominator by the same thing, that's like multiplying by one. And yes, I am doing this underneath the radical. From here, we wanna be careful that that 169 is gonna get distributed to both these terms up in the numerator. So that's gonna give us the square root of 169 as we multiply by the one minus 119 as you multiply by the little fraction. Now for our denominator, for the time being, I'm just gonna wait and leave this as two multiplied by 169. It's gonna help in our reducing down if we don't actually multiply that out and get a larger number, uh, 338 from the beginning. Instead, let's simplify our numerator. So 169 minus 119 works out to be 50 divided by two times 169. And we're gonna be able to simplify down and clear out our two from our denominator with a factor of two in our numerator. So that'll be Sorry, we'll wait just a second on that. This will be a big fraction. So we have 25 divided by 169. From here, we're allowed to use our radical rules and put a square root with each of the numerator and the denominator, and then take the square root of 25, which is five, and the square root of 169, which works out to be 13. So we've got a pretty nice answer going on there. And that's gonna be the uh, half angle formula using sine. So I hope this helps out. Be careful as you're setting up, should this be positive or negative up out in front of the radical? Use all students take calculus just based on whichever quadrant theta over two is gonna lie in. All right, good luck on them.